Welcome to an Espresso Chat with Siemens Mobility. I'm very proud that I have Benjamin Bock, Head of Digital Transformation and Automation from Siemens Mobility with me. So Siemens is a large company um, and has a lot of different uh, yeah, things in, in, within the whole, whole portfolio. Could you tell us a little bit about Siemens Mobility? Of course. Well, Siemens Mobility is one of the leading provider for transportation solution. That means that core business includes rail vehicles, rail automation solution, intelligent road traffic technology, and also digital services like predictive maintenance, for example. And so everything you can mention around transportation, especially uh, rail transportation. Benjamin, since 2017, you're around the area of robotic process automation. Um, how did Siemens Mobility as a company came to the area of RPA AI automation? Where did the journey start? Well, as you mentioned, it's about three years ago that we started our journey. And it was the idea of our former business unit CFO to look into the topic. And then we analyzed different providers and the solution from UiPath um, were used, especially due to the fact that we can use um, free trial licenses as well as the comprehensive training offering and then we started to dig into it and automated our own processes and before we started to move on um, automating more and more of our own processes we decided to spread the message out to the Siemens mobility community and enable others to do that um, themselves and um, by that we have um, created a great uh, community um, and the target is to bring this digitalization into the organization and not just building a core team of experts, um, but more spread the message out to the organization. I hear a little bit the theme of a robot for every person, I would like to say. <laughs> yes, that comes very close to our solution. We're not there yet, um, but we're going down this path. Sounds great to me. And I think it's also very interesting for everybody who is listening to this one. So, um, where are you today with, with your journey? Um, what results are already feasible? Would you like to share this a little bit with us, please? Yes, of course. Uh, many things have changed. So if I just look at the rollout activity, so enabling and empowering others, um, we have now a community of about 400 people. Uh, we robotize over 335 processes. We built up 35 teams in um, 13 countries that do digitalization themselves. It's like a train-to-trainer -the concept. They enable others. Um, so we built up a huge community on the one hand. And on the other hand, um, technology-wise, many things have increased since then. So we started with a RDA solution on our own machines. And today, we have fully virtualized robots. We have different instances of the orchestrator. We're using CyberArk as a PAM solution. We're using Elasticsearch and Kibana for dashboarding. And we're planning to um, integrate also GitLab and um, Azure DevOps to automate the pipelining. So that first sounds like a lot of technology, which probably makes it more difficult. But the overall target is to make it much, much easier than it was in the past for uh, the citizen developer or the developer we have in our community, as well as in our workbench and Lisbon protocol. But most of all, and probably the most important thing is the business impact to what we're doing here. So we're not doing it for the sake of doing it. We're doing it to, first of all, gain productivity, of course. And on the other hand, also to change the picture of our employees or the job uh, profile of our employees. I like it very much that you're really looking so much for what is in for the employees. And I also like your, your model of having citizen developers doing development. And for, for maybe those very, very large processes, there is then um, the workbench in, in Portugal, which you just mentioned. So um, if I understood correctly, they are taking care of those, let's call them core end-to-end -end process, I think. Absolutely. We focus on that people can do it themselves, like um, helping them to help themselves, um, especially for small and medium processes and the real big processes, uh, bringing big, uh, big productivity to our business. They are handled within the workbench, within the central team. Um, that's where we also, for example, um, uh, imply our own mobility framework we developed. 
um, because their stability is key because we want to focus on developing new processes and not want to focus on maintaining existing ones. I think that's very, very good approach and very good uh, direction to go. Talking about direction to go, so what are your next steps in your automation journey? Where do you want to go next? Well, of course, we want to increase the community even further. We want to roll it out to even more employees. So maybe one day we're coming to the point that we have a robot for every employee. And uh, of course, we want to increase the business impact. And by that, changing the job profile, as mentioned, of our employees. So going away in the finance area, for example, from gathering data from different sources, reconciling them, um, putting them together to more interpretation of the data, analyzing the data, and by that bringing value add to the company. Um, an additional thing we're planning right now is that we want to uh, include digitalization and especially RPA activities into the training for um, apprentice. And by that, allowing already the young people coming to our country uh, company to um, learn this technology and to also have an open eye for processes when they run through different um, departments and look out for automations. Yeah, and this also makes it attractive for apprentices, you know, to have um, technology, modern technology like RPA, to work with easily. And I also like very much that you are um, talking about, you know, there is a lot of data around, but it needs to be put together to make information out of it. And the gathering of it is, yeah, it's more something of the mon mundane tasks, I would say. So helping um, colleagues and employees to get, a re get rid of those ones and can focus on information and use this information for valuable ad for the company. Um, that's, that's great and what should be achieved by RPA, for example. If I may ask, um, one last question. Um, what do you think is, is um, the most important thing around RPA for, for Siemens Mobility as a kind of summary and roundup of it? Well, I think what it makes or what us made um, successful is the community. Um, bringing it to the people, enabling them to help themselves um, changing the mind and not only changing to our profiles, but also changing minds to look out for digitalization topics, to look out for monotonous repetitive processes and doing it itself. And RPA is a great technology because it allows people to automate their monotonous work themselves. Benjamin, thank you very much for sharing the story of Siemens Mobility with us and have a fantastic ongoing journey into a prosperous future and to become a fully automated enterprise. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you very much, Sabine. It was a pleasure.